Hello class. Welcome to CCNA Voice Chapter 2, Understanding the Pieces of Cisco Unified Communications. I'm Professor Dwight Hughes. Okay, the main point of this chapter is to understand the four Cisco VoIP products or solutions that Cisco offers for companies for voice over IP. They are the Cisco Unified Communications Manager Express, sometimes called CME, the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, sometimes called CUCM or just CM, Cisco Unity Connection, we often just call it Unity, and Cisco Unified Presence, also abbreviated just Presence. Let's take a look at each. Cisco Unified CME, the E stands for Express, is a scaled down version of a full call manager. It is quite a different product. It's not the same product at all. It's completely different. It is a command line Cisco iOS based solution. It is a program that you purchase and install into your iOS on an ISR G2 router. That would be an integrated service router generation two. As the chapter alludes, it is possible to still install this software on a Generation 1 router. The Call Manager Express has a limited feature and capability set compared to a full call manager. It is appropriate for a small company. You may be limited to as few as 35 phones. It uses Cisco IP phones using the SCCP or SIP protocols, and that's how the phones communicate. We're going to take a look in a moment on the next slide at call flow, which really explains, because this chapter deviates into this, we spend a lot more time with these protocols in later chapters. But this chapter throws in the difference between call setup and teardown, which is SCCP or SIP, use one or the other. SIP is the industry standard and SCCP is the Cisco proprietary solution. Those protocols are used for call setup and for termination. The actual voice of the call is sent using RTP, real-time protocol, and of course it works with UTP as we discussed in our chapter one lecture. So I've drawn a little simple network here to show the call flow. Let's first look at a call setup. We'll have the phone on the left. Try to call the phone on the right. So this will be the SCCP SIP call flow. The phone on the left would dial the extension of the phone on the right. And notice instead of going to the phone on the right, it would go to the call manager. In this case, call manager express, which is our router. The router would now take the call request and it would forward it to the phone on the right. Asking the phone on the right, are you available to receive a call? The phone on the right will reply back with its availability. Typically, this is the on hook or off hook condition. Guess where that's gonna go? That's right, it'll go back to the Call Manager Express. So the Call Manager Express really never lets the phones talk directly with each other. They're always going to talk to the Call Manager. And this is, of course, an IP packets traveling across your IP network. Now, once the two phones, we're done now with the call setup. The phone on the left has said it wanted to call the phone on the right. The phone on the right has said it's willing to accept the call. Now, the call manager has reported that condition back to the phone on the left, and so it will now start sending its voice packets. But instead of sending it to the call manager, they'll be sent directly to the phone on the right. Using the RTP protocol, inside of a regular IP packet. And so you can see now the call manager is really only involved in establishing the setup of calls, basically finding the endpoints and ensuring their availability. It also is involved when one of these phones wants to disconnect, when the user puts the receiver down, 
that message will be an SCCP or SIPs message sent to the call manager informing it that the phone no longer wants to participate in this call. And it will be the call manager that informs the other phone of the disconnect. The phones are only exchanging voice packets, no call information. Okay, moving on then. Q is the second product. So we looked at one product, which was Call Manager Express, and now we look at a second one for Call Manager Express. They make a module that you can screw into your router um, that allows you to store voicemails. Without Q, Call Manager Express would have no voicemail capability, pretty limiting its ability to work as a call manager. Usually on a phone system, you expect to have some way to store voicemail if a um, user is not available. Q is unfortunately expensive because it is designed on a small proprietary card that is um, put inside the router. And also, like all cards and routers, typically when new router models come out, the Q cards won't fit them and you will have to junk them and buy all new cards. Uh, they also have very limited storage capacity, so you can't store a lot of voicemail on their cards, and they also have limited features. They come in two form factors. One form factor goes entirely inside the router. You unscrew the router lid, and it actually installs on the main board of the router internally. On an ISR G1 router, this was called an AIM card. Now, the same card is now called an ISM, or Internal Service Module. It can also be installed what they call externally. It just means it goes in one of those external expansion slots, the um, outside facing slots. It's still inside the router, but it installs with a uh, physically facing card slot. And in an ISRG1 router, this was called a network module or ENM. In the ISRG2 routers, this is called an SM or service module. So if we focus on the current generation G2 routers, um, an internal card would be called an ISM or internal service module, and an external card would be called a service module. Now we can take a look at the full call manager. This is really the large enterprise solution, extremely expensive, capable of handling up to 30,000 phones. Remember I said that Call Manager Express likely could handle as limited as 35 phones. A typical Call Manager Express handles around 50 phones maximum. But with the full Call Manager, you're allowed up to 30,000 phones, and it runs as a Unix server appliance, which can be virtualized and run in a cloud. You can also buy more of them and set up redundant server clustering so that you can load balance and in the event that one fails, you have some backups. Additionally, you can set up multiple clusters, each with 30,000 phones. So you're not actually limited to 30,000 phones. You can link clusters and add 30,000 phones to each cluster. So there is literally no limit to the maximum size that you can grow a call manager phone network. One of the other of many features is Microsoft Active Directory integration, which is really sweet in a large network, allowing you to pull directory information for users right out of a Microsoft server, getting things like first name, last name, you can store their phone extension in the Active Directory, and it really allows you to kind of have a centralized way to manage a very large network. Unity, or Cisco Unity Connection is the voicemail solution for a full call manager. It is also a Unix server appliance. It could be run <coughs> in a virtualized environment. It could actually be installed on the exact same server you're running the call manager. But in a large enterprise environment, it is recommended that the server be run separately so that you can have it separate. Um, it also has Microsoft Exchange support so it can integrate with the email system and do things like send your voicemail to your email as an attachment. Or with some third-party solutions, actually even try to uh, decipher the voicemail and type it out into an email message for you. 
Now we talk about the fourth and final product that we're going to talk about, and it's Presence or Unified Presence. Presence is another server solution that can be added to a full call manager. It essentially will allow you to find the status availability of a user you're trying to reach before you actually call them. So you can tell if they're available to receive a call or in a meeting or accepting messages or, um, the, uh, or so forth. You can also find out when they'll be available. It will tell you their availability essentially in a calendar-like view, letting you know when that you, if the user is available or when they will be available for different types of communication. It also includes the ability to do instant messaging. It also allows external product integration like Google Voice or WebEx allowing you to reach users that are outside the company walls, so literally anywhere, anytime. They also have a Jabber integration. Jabber is like a video conference, it's similar to Skype, and so Jabber is a Cisco um, chat client that has got integrated video conference capabilities and some other neat stuff. I wanted to add this, but it's mentioned in your chapter, but not really talked about, is the um, Cuckum Business Edition. I added the word small. It used to be called the Cuckum Small Business Edition. It is a full Cuckum with presence, with Unity, all integrated and baked into one server appliance for about the same price as a Call Manager Express with Q. So essentially, there is no reason to ever run Call Manager Express with Q because it's expensive and limited and you can get all the same functionality in a nice GUI based server from Cisco um, for the same price. And it has actually higher functionality because you can purchase more licenses and keep expanding it until it, um, it will never be able to handle 30,000 phones. It is limited to somewhere around 250 to 500 phones, but it is a much more scalable solution than Call Manager Express. In summary, this chapter covers the four Cisco VoIP solutions you'll need to know and some call flow basics.